Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius uh, air signs, welcome to my channel. I am Lady Day, your intuitive reader, and this is uh, my channel, The Healing Butterfly. Uh, this reading will be a energy check reading. Um, it'll be for love, for business, for life, uh, whatever happened, whatever you clicked on this video to think of at this moment. Um, I will say that what I have is um uh, is that Tina Turner uh, in the movie when she goes, Oh, something's on my mind. Oh, somebody, please, please tell me what's going wrong. You're just a fool. You know you're in love. So I don't know what that is, but that song came through just as I was getting ready to start. So we're going to start with the overall energy, and then we'll get into the questions, okay? All right. So for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius air signs, what is the highest message that you have for them today? Thank you, Spirit. What is the overall energy and message at this time? So overarching energy and theme for this reading today, Spirit. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Thank you. So we have your hard work is paying off. That's new moon in Capricorn. And the bottom of the deck is show the world the real you full moon in Aquarius. Come on, Aquarius. Do it. Okay. Expect powerful change because you are good enough balancing your spirituality and practicality. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. So look, your hard work is definitely paying off. I have to, I feel like some of you feel like, um, just like, like this, this Capricorn, I don't even know what this thing is. It's like part fish, part goat, something, ram. I don't know. It's, it, it don't, it might feel like for a, a little, a few of you that's just like, okay, I'm swimming and I'm running. Uh, how, how can I say I'm, I'm, I'm going against the current. You get what I'm saying? It's like, um, you think you're not getting anywhere, but you are, you get what I'm saying? Like the steps that you have taken have taken you so far. It's like, um, it's almost like you don't even know that, that you're, that you're moving as fast as you are, if that makes any sense. Um, and it's because you're showing the world the real you, but somebody just said, you're also displaying it to yourself. You're showing yourself how strong you are. So you're giving yourself compliments, um, for the accomplishments. Thank you. Two, two, two. When I said that. Come on with my rhyme. You're giving yourself the compliments for the accomplishments that you've been able to go through. I'm also seeing this is actually in motion right now as if you're throwing out the old water or the old uh, emotional connections um, or trigger points, um, responses, reactions. Um, I'm hearing something about you know more about cause and effect now. So you know like I'm not going to think that about that person. Or I'm not going to do that to that person because I know it's going to be something. So you may have gotten rid of old love. You may have gotten rid of old childhood wounds. Um, all of these things are beautiful. And that's why you should be expecting powerful change, new moon eclipse, because you are good enough, because you did take the time to balance your spirituality and practicality, okay? You did give, a time to give rather than take, new moon in Virgo. You were someone who gave. You gave a lot to a lot of people. You may have also given your time, your energy, your money, like something that is actual practical to you. You know, like if you're a person where it's like, I don't care about money, money comes and money goes, but my energy, I can't get that back. You're someone who still gives that, even though like you feel spent sometimes. So you will be blessed because of that. A fiery a fiery climax does approach because you stepped out of your comfort zone and you're going towards your north node which is your life purpose which you were born for so hold your vision okay because a win-win outcome is forecasted yes come on air signs so let's get into the questions and really see what's going on again i did not ask for love or other i just said whatever is the highest message make sure you apply it to the part of your life that you need to but if it does not align obviously this is not a tetris game so don't try to make it fit okay So first question on the board is, what are your current challenges and blockages? Current challenges and blockages. Cancer, I was about to say Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Sorry, just got done with water. Uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, air sign, spirit. What are the current challenges and blockages? The gift. Hmm. What? The gift. Bottom of the deck is money. Constancy with the widower and the wedding to the servant friend reunion. Okay, I think I had this storyline not too long ago where I feel like someone is getting ready to come into money. But the money that they're coming into is because someone's about to pass away. And my 444, when I just said that, my condolences, my heart goes out. To, I mean, I know when people pass away, some people think about the money and the life insurance, but... 
honestly, it's it's being a medium and 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 giving those messages to people. It's it's difficult. You know, I don't care. Some people don't care that they came into $20 million because Graham Graham passed away. Some people are really so emotionally distraught. You get what I'm saying? So my condolences to anyone who has lost anyone um, here recently and or you're just still in, in grief. Um, by all means, my heart goes out to you. I do readings as well. If you would like to try to connect with your loved ones on the other side, please don't don't hesitate to reach out to me. But the challenges and the blockages, the gift, the money, constancy with the widower from the wedding the servant friend that they want a reunion with because they're faithful to them. They, I think, okay, so again, I, what I feel is that there, the challenge is that there is something, I think you know that there was something that was supposed to be birthed or gifted to you. You felt it. It could have been a person. It could have been a wedding. It could have been um, a big lottery win or payout or job or new beginning, whatever it was. You know that there was something big that should have been given to you. And I feel like it hasn't come because there's the, the money, the, this new start is kind of caught up with someone or something. And, and whatever that thing is, I think there's a death that needs to happen. So either someone in the family is going to pass away and give someone a lot of money that's going to gift you something. Or this company is getting ready to maybe fall, fall under or burn down and the insurance money is going to be able to gift somebody something. You get what I'm saying? There's something legal and binding that's going to end up giving someone money because something's going to either pass on, pass away. You get what I'm saying? Transition. Thank you, spirits. Spirits, I just say transition. Transition. Because some of you, it may not be loved. You may be getting this because, like I said, the company went belly up, but there's insurance in the clause that if the company goes belly up, then employees who have been there for a certain year get such and such. Like, it could be either one. Or it could be someone is actually, you know, becoming a widower, their, their wife or their spouse, you know, passed on. They have a bunch of money. They run into you. They end up gifting you a bunch of money or... Or falling for you and then marrying you. And that's how you get your money. Oof. Or someone could have already been a widower. Then they run into you. And that's and you end up marrying them. And that's how your money comes. However it is. The basis of this thing is that something or someone transitioned. And money was paid out very largely. And I think that's how your gift. Your gift and your challenge. And your, your, block, your blockage right now to this gift. Is because that situation. That person hasn't come online yet and or that transition, that death, that ending to pay out the money has not happened yet. Okay? All right. Current situation, Spirit. The lover. The bottom of the deck is scholar. Cheerfulness, servant, fortune. Right! Once the death comes to... Okay. Again. Someone has plans. I got to be honest. I think someone has plans for you. And it's money that they came into. Because again, the scholar is cheerful, right? Because it's the servant. The person that may not have... I'm going to... I say servant, but you just may not have a lot. Like, you may have a lot of love. You may have a lot of spirit. I feel like you have a lot of things that aren't tangible. Someone wants to give you tangible things. You get what I'm saying? And it's something about the scholar, the, the, the person who... The scholar may be the person that passed on, the, the wise person. But there's someone um, who has, is very cheerful from this wisdom that they've been able to receive. So it could be, like, again, someone could have gone into investments with someone. They, you, know, you get what I'm saying? Anything like that. But they want to be able to have the fortune with, give this servant the fortune, right? So someone got something from the scholar. They're in a cheerful nature, but they want to be able to be with the, the, the scholar and give them the fortune. And bring death to this frivolous behavior with, a, with this somebody that's like religious buff, okay? There is a surprise. A surprise conversation, a surprise gift. But I, again, I do think that someone's trying to keep this lover from doing such. And that's why that's a challenge and a blockage for the for the lover to bring the gift. Because there is because something still hasn't hasn't come to an end. And it could be again, it could it could be a, a it could be I'm just heard red tape. I don't know what red tape means. I don't know what that means in a uh, construction. I think red tape means like somebody didn't pass inspections. Hell, that could be in life too in love. God might have tried somebody and they didn't pass inspection. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't pass inspection. 
<laughs> Could you imagine saying to somebody, I wanted to take you on a date, or don't you want to go out with me? Nah, you ain't passed inspection. Nah, shorty, you ain't even passed inspection. Like, I think I might start saying that. Um, the self-energy right now for you is surprise. At the bottom of the deck, despair, haughtiness, room, death, sweetheart, prison, waiting, enemy. Uh. Yep. Um, okay. What I have here, self energy is surprise. The reason why you are, again, What's the challenge? The, the challenge and the blockage is the gift. The gift that you feel, you know there's something that just has not birthed into your life. It's coming from a lover. A lover who I feel like has come into money because they have had an ending somewhere. Their business, a family member, an old marriage, something failed and paid out money, right? But your, your energy right now is like in a, a shock and surprise because I don't think that you even truly knew that this was the whole background of it. So you may not have had this surprise 11-11 when I just looked up. You may not have had this surprise just yet, but it's coming. And I feel like someone who is very uh, haughtiness, so arrogant, flashy. So again, I don't know if there was a, a, a disconnect of a, like a divorce. Thank you. I don't know why I was going to say a disconnect, but a divorce. But I feel like someone who was very, thought they had this lover wrapped up or thought they had this situation pegged. Nah, I already got all the red tape around it or I already got the clauses in the contract or nah, I already done whipped it up on that person. They ain't going nowhere. Whatever that is, that thing is coming to an end. And that person is exactly, I think they find themselves already um, energetically feeling alone. So either the business already knows it's going under the person that they've connected to knows they're already going to be divorced. Um, the community already knows that they're, they're this person's already separating from them because they want to move on to the sweetheart. You get what I'm saying? Someone wants to bring death to the sweetheart because the lover wants the sweetheart. They're hoping to keep them in prison. You get what I'm saying? They want the sweetheart to be imprisoned mentally, emotionally, physically, whatever it is to keep waiting while the enemy cooks up something. I, th I feel like there's somebody that's uh, coming against this lover that wants to cook up something for you. You get what I'm saying? I think they want to send a false message to you, air sign. But I got to be honest, when I see, then I see the scholar, the reunion, the thief, and the money with the joyfulness, I got to be honest, I think that the scholar already kind of knows that this reunion um, was going to come in and that a thief may have tried to come in to get the money and has already, like, whatever, I, I got to be honest, whatever happened... It's like, this is the reason why I gave the money to them. This is the reason why I put that clause in the, in the contract that anyone who worked between, whoever started in my company between, I don't know, 2002 and 2010, if my company went under, y'all would be paid because I knew that this person was going to try to do this. You get what I'm saying? Like somebody knew that someone was going to try to not allow this lover to come and give the gift. That's why they're, and it could be, and I, I know this sounds crazy, but I feel like someone did pass on or pass the business on, pass the situation on. You get what I'm saying? And that person like is on the other side dictating because they knew that either family, friends, whatever would start to feed off the lover who was going to be paid out big money. I'm hearing he or she has a kind heart, kind soul. Not only that, but I'm also seeing, they said the servant, right? This person is clearly at work. This is the fisherman working like a servant to others. So there's a surprise. So I don't, again, I don't mean to call you a servant, but I'm just saying like, you may not have a lot of money. You may not be a frivolous person, you know, millions on millions somewhere. I hope that this is making sense to y'all because I got to be honest. These readings today have just been off the wall. And the last is the advice from spirit. Advice, thank you, spirit, is the enemy. Mm, I got to get another one on that. Bottom of the deck is melody. Yeah, oh, okay, maybe I don't. Okay. The enemy is melancholy because somebody is faithful, faithful to the service to have maybe a child 
What's okay? So they so someone. I think the enemy is melancholy because the lover is faithful in their service. And it could be because they are supposed to have a child because they had a child. Um, or someone wants them to be faithful to the, to the child. I don't know. Again, I do feel like this is more of either someone wants to be faithful to their journey and their contract. Cause I'm getting more, somebody just said six of cups, which is past life, childhood connections which would be the friend that you want to send a message that maybe there's a house that we want to, I want to have cheerfulness with, right? Consolation and fortune. I, I'm wishing on a star that this can come together. I want to have a conversation about this journey that maybe someone tried to steal from, from the lover, the Lord. I want another card here, spirit. Advice from spirit. What is enemy? So, I can't make it. Yeah, I can't make it any. The sorrow. On top of the enemy. The enemy is in sorrow because of the faithful service, right? Exactly. Faithful service, right? Child and haltiness. Wedding behind that. Milady with the servant friend who's going to get the message about the house. So again, I do think that someone knows that someone is disconnecting from them, from their business, from their heart, from their family, from their community, whatever it is. And that that's going to then start this lover to then move on and journey towards this surprise and this gift that they want to give to someone. Faithfulness showed up at the bottom of the deck again. So somebody is being very faithful to their journey. I have to be honest. And the service that they know they're supposed to put in with someone. And that's bringing, you know, that's bringing some sorrow and melancholy feelings to the enemy. The person who was the snake in the grass all along. So that's another thing. If you are cross, somebody said, I, I think it's cross watching. If you are cross watching and someone has already started to show their hand that they're upset or, or sorrow or sad because you and them are no longer that connected, that person is now showing their hand that they are the snake. Okay? Um, what is the challenge? The challenge is in the block is the gift, spirit. What is that? Wow, the sacral chakra. So like I said, I feel like it's more of a masculine. This is a, um, I'm sorry, this is feminine energy. Um, I do feel like this is the, uh, the feminine. Again, I feel like it's a feminine who knew that something was getting ready to be birthed into their life. They were getting ready to be gifted something, but it hasn't happened, right? Now we have the solitude, the hermit, you know, within you've gone within, you know, you've, I've also heard like, you've been looking at the Akashic records, trying to figure out what's holding up something or something to that nature. You're right. If you're asking, you're right. There's something more on that. There's something more that should have been gifted or given. Oh, sorry, y'all kicking over candles. And there it is. The material harvest. That's what, sorry, fellow on the floor, ladies and gents, uh, material harvest, because your intuition was on a bean. You knew that you were, and there goes the harmony, which is the lover's card. You knew that this, like I said, the lover was supposed to, but obstacles and challenges were brought on this path for whatever reason. But victory and success will be given a new beginning when the truth comes in. Because there's wisdom that you're strong enough to make, to bring death to the situation. Rest when needed, but stand your ground. All right. Mm -hmm. The current uh, situation is the lover. What is the lover spirit? What is, the, what is this current situation with the lover? Wow, they came out fast, didn't it? Yeah, movement choices and decisions. I feel like, again, the, the lover has to, has to make the right choices and decisions and or did not make the right choices and decisions, and they were suffering in silence. Right? And, well, this is current situation, so they're currently. They currently made, they made movement choices and decisions that has them currently suffering in silence. Not able to give the gift. Right. And there goes the power card. They had the strength. They knew they had the strength, but for some reason, I don't know why they haven't tapped into it because they're still trapped in fear with the hope that they'll be able to have a new beginning and, a, and their passion ignite and they have victory and success. But again, I don't think they chose wisely. Choose wisely with the, the mental conflict, base chakra, third eye chakra, and emotional loss. You should have stood, stood, stood your ground against whatever it was, cross watcher, because I feel like I get, I'm getting cross watcher energy right now. Currently, somebody is suffering in silence because they did not use the strength that they have within the spiritual strength i'm feeling but this is just the strength card so maybe it's a it could be a fire sign aries i think it's a leo specifically but aries leo or sag um and then we also have the the pentacles out here um, which is earth sign taurus virgo and capricorn all right um what is the self energy check the surprise 
What is the surprise spirit? The self energy check. Clarify that further for us. What is the surprise? Right, I guess it's a surprise. I ain't supposed to know, huh? <laughs> Okay, there's a tower moment. We know that. All right. I know some people don't look at tower moments as good things, but once the tower has broken, once all the false uh, foundation and falsehood, actually spirit just said, oh no, they're very familiar. And they're starting, I think you're starting to become, um, you get your sea legs with these tower moments because you notice in the moment it may not feel good, but goodness, once all that, that stuff clears out, I can have a, a clear, I can see. Once all that breaks down and breaks up and God removes it, I can see clearer. I also heard taking out the trash. Surprise, firm foundation. <laughs> all right, one more card, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, and there goes your two of cups. That's what I felt. I feel like someone is going through a tower moment, like I said. False situations and or things just crumbling. Um, old paradigms, old... Um, people who they thought was found, uh, supporting them, you thought was supporting you, whatever it is, you're going to come to a place where it's just going to be like those four spokes. You get what I'm saying? Like the four spokes or the four legs on a table. It's going to be grounded and it's going to be firm and it's going to come in, divinely come in and it might even come in quite fast. The triumph card. At the bottom of the deck is the spiritual union because this is a connection between you and someone. I keep saying that. Um, behind that is the hope that they can choose wisely to, to, plan this thing out and to come out of the cold with you so I, I do think that there's a tower moment there's things that you don't know that are happening behind the scenes someone is having a tower moment but in that I do feel like they'll find out wow this is really the person for me like I said I think all of this um because I'm just seeing like a lot of uh just craziness going on you know what I mean it's so much that's distracting either your person or the company or or things from moving forward but they will be you'll be in a, in a the, the surprise is that it's coming in. The triumph, the firm foundation is coming in for you. And then lastly is advice from spirit. We have sorrow and the enemy of spirit. What is that? The empress, fertility. Balance. Discontent and boredom. Okay, because I, I, I'm getting, I, I, and I don't, uh, if you are an empress or you're someone or you the person that's, that wants to birth this, this new beginning, if you're the person who feels like there was something that was supposed to be given to you, it's time for you to just balance yourself. You get what I'm saying? Because I think you're getting either antsy or you're getting on, you're like, you're at your last, at your wit's end with this because you know that someone is stirring up some pots. I'm also hearing that you're you're being you're you're being confused with someone else. Someone like I said there's a snake in the grass somewhere that may be pretending to be you. Take that as it resonates. I need another card here spirit. It's almost like don't get upset. Don't don't take yourself off this path. Don't don't turn your pet don't turn your back to the light. You're you're going the right way or something like that. What are these two? Right, right. The moon, the shadow card. It's like you can't you it's it's uh, you see these two people, one's in the light and one in one is in the dark. It's almost like this enemy is almost either berating you or beating you down or trying to pretend to be you or trying to to taint your name. Um, the base chakra as well. So there may be um, someone may be controlling your person's base chakra. Trying to pretend like I, I got your back. I'm, I'm your friend. I'm the company. I'm this. I'm that. Someone is, is right. This is the masculine energy. Should have been patience and planning, but it's trapped in fear and needs to bring death to something so that the destiny, the will of fortune can turn so that they can choose wisely and use their crown chakra to partner with the right person. Someone, the enemy is in sorrow because the, the empress has shown who she is because she remained balanced. 
Spirit is also asking you not to be discontent and, bo and bored with continuing to follow the path. Because there are things happening behind the moon. Things that are that are not being shown the right way. People taking on, um, pretend, like cloaking themselves as if they, they work in the light, but really they're a dark person. Meaning telling people, you know, false lies, fairy tales, and fallacies, as I say. Some people got some lies, fairy tales, and fallacies for either your person, for your business, for whatever. And that is, that for some reason, I don't know if that's what's revving their, their base chakra, their greed. Ooh, yeah, tell me some more. Tell me some more fairy tales. And I'm going I'm to I'm keep listening to you, even though it's, it's the enemy who's just upset that you've seen the light. So either you or your person, take it as it resonates. Continue to stay balanced. Because you know things are happening behind the moon. You know people are up to something around you. You know that, air sign. I'm talking to the air sign right now. You know something more is going on. Hell, the, the dang on current, uh, the, the blockage is the gift. How do you, how does, why is someone blocking your gift? So that's how you already know that somebody's trying to play. And I just got, I, when I get this, I know someone's playing around. It's the cups where they put the ball under the cup and then they move the cups all around. Someone is doing that either with your person, with your job, with your position, with your your community, with your family, whatever you clicked on this video to watch this video for, someone's trying to play that that find the cup game. And maybe this person, I'm also feeling like for, for a select few of you, this person, this enemy, this snake, knows that the lover is getting ready to get a good payout because they might already know that somebody is sickly or that the company is about to go over. So they're trying their best to keep this person confused until the money gets here. If you are cross-watching, I hope that you are paying attention. 987. Countdown. Somebody already exactly. This person already knows there's a countdown. They know something's coming. You better watch it. You better watch who you put in what positions and who you gift what's what. All the way up into leading to your personal parts. Don't be gifting people your personal parts because somebody might 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 be a hot shot. All right, two cards, please, Spirit. Affirmations to get them through this. Thank you, Spirit. The bottom of the deck is your inner power. I know that's right. I know that's right. Give me the courage and the power to do what must be done. Like I said, I said that was your advice from Spirit, to stay balanced, to remain in your Empress energy, male or female. If you're a male, if you would rather be called an Emperor, fine. Stay in your Emperor energy, birthing new things, being uh being balanced being kind being patient being loving being caring being forgiving card that came out is gratitude fill me with gratitude for all you give may i be a vehicle for you wherever i go continue on your path to god yes and ease it'll get easier it sure will it's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. Say it three times. Clap your hands. Turn around in a circle and raise your hands to God if you have to. But you're going to receive. Stay in that. Stay in your gratitude. Why does this look like the same goddess to me? Or almost like it. Oh, they do have different headdresses on. So maybe they are different goddesses. But either way, stay in your bag air sign stay in your bag stay in your bag stay in your bag let this person reveal themselves they want to pretend like they're the empress the empress that somebody can only pretend to be somebody for so long eventually you got to show and prove right you got to do the work to be an empress you can't just pop up two cards please spirit thank you one more card here spirit what do you have for from their directly from their guides, their spirits, their spiritual team? One more card. Thank you. Bottom of the deck is reward yourself, baby. You have done amazing things. Yes. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. What did it say? It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. I say amen, namaste, and so mote it be. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance is giving and receiving. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation at a consistently high level. What do you desire? 
You now have the opportunity to write and script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. And trustworthy guidance. You've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it, knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. Everything is just about having gratitude and opening yourself up to receive. Whatever is going on with this person and this, then their path and their decisions and the death that's going on in their life, my condolences again, let that go on behind the moon. Keep your path, okay? Peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise to you and your loved ones. If you would like a personal reading, you can reach me via my email or my Instagram. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave me some feedback, share the videos with your loved ones, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, again, follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much again. Peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise, sorry, to you and your loved ones. Namaste.